Welcome to another episode of Sip and Sync with Azure. My name is Govind, and today I'm joined by our Vice President of Product for Azure AI, Marco Casalena. Now, Marco is one of those rare product leaders who never relies on PowerPoint in front of customers. Instead, he likes to showcase our capabilities by building cutting-edge demos that are at the frontier of AI innovation. Uh, welcome, Marco. Thank you for having me. Thanks for uh, being with us. And uh, today you have something special for us. I do. This is going to be a trip. Awesome. It's a computer use agent. You ever seen these things? Uh, we, we hear about Operator that OpenAI did in ChatGPT. Is that what this is? About? Yeah. I mean, you know, we've been talking about agents for a long time, but this is a new type of agent, a type of agent that can literally use your computer or even apps on your phone and stuff like that. Wow. And that's what we're going to do here today. That's awesome. All right, let's get to it. All right, so let's kick this thing off. Now, it's going to take a second to spin up, and I'm telling it, find me one of these fancy new Xbox consoles with the Galaxy painted on it on the Xbox.com site. Wow. Now, I'm running browser use, which is a type of computer use agent, on top of GPT-40 Mini oh. uh, in Azure OpenAI. And so it's using that as its model to do the reasoning and stuff like that. And what this is going to do, in a second, this is going to come to life and it is literally going to start controlling this browser. Now you're starting to see it. It's already opening a new tab. And here it goes where it's going to start Whoa. actually navigating around and bam. <laughs> now this sounds very scary, but, but, but there are a lot of practical applications for this, right? Of course. I mean, and one of those applications is, for example, in the contact center where you have a lot of bespoke mm. applications and you might want an agent to be able to help the contact center agent to do their job. Now, in this case, my agent went to the Xbox site. It didn't find what it was looking for. <laughs> So it decided to Google it. Just like a human would. <laughs> right? And now it's finding some console wraps wow. for the Xbox. So, you know, now these agents aren't perfect, and sometimes they do make mistakes, and that's all well and good. But the point is that it can automate this whole process on my behalf. You could also kind of combine this with some of the reasoning models, right? We've been hearing all about O1 and... Absolutely. And so, yeah, I'm using GPT-40 Mini in here because it's super quick, but you know, if I, if I wanted it to do more in-depth reasoning, then indeed I could connect it to something like O1 or O1 Mini yep. and have that do the reasoning instead. Awesome. Now, another use case of this, by the way, is you as a consumer. And I am telling you all that you all will be using stuff like this in the near future. Well, it may not look like this because this is very techy looking and it's making boxes on the screen and stuff like right. that but it'll be in your operating system and on your phone. Wow. And you're going to start using this stuff. Wow, that, I mean, that is really magical. Now, how can our you know, users kind of have these agents better use their existing websites and applications? All right, well, let's talk about it. I, I'm going to stop this guy before it literally adds an Xbox to my cart. It's getting there, <laughs> though. It's getting there now. Oh, your kids are going to be happy. Right. <laughs> So, I mean, starting with uh, what, what was I doing there? Well, this thing that we were using here is called browser use. This is an open source repo on GitHub, and you can sync this repo yourself and connect it to a model like I did uh, to get it going like that. Now, in looking at what it was doing there, you might think, is clicking around the website really the most efficient way to yeah. do this? Now, on one way. hand, you know, in general, I think that it's incumbent upon those who have consumer-facing websites to optimize these sites for agents. So you have to realize that more and more people are going to use agents like this yep. to use their sites. And so you don't want to put things on your sites that will con con confuse the agents. We should tell our Xbox team this. We should, <laughs> actually. But there's an emerging standard called uh, LLMs.txt, which is kind of like robots.txt. Oh, you know, you put right. those things on your site and it tells the crawlers what they can search and what they can't search. Well, LLMs.txt tells an agent, this is what my site is about. I sell Xboxes and I have consoles and Game Pass and things like that, but it can also declare things that the agent can do without twiddling the site. And so basically it could be like, here's an API that you can call instead. If you want to order an Xbox, right. you don't have to click through the site, just call this API and we'll stick it in the cart. It's and, much faster and efficient. And more robust, right. More robust, so, yes. That's also part of the agent optimization story that's just starting to emerge now. So that's this awesome. is all very much in its infancy. And what I'm showing now is just the beginning of uh, what we all will be using in the next couple of years. That's awesome. And you'll find all these resources in the show notes, so definitely check it out. Um, now, obviously, uh, our users can quickly get started with, uh, uh, you know, whether it's browser use or with LLMs.txt. You just add that on their site, right? And yeah, right. I mean, you know, all of these things are out there today, and more computer use agents are coming uh, to light every day. And so, 
you know, you can use the one that's right for you and begin experimenting with these things and see how you can put them to use in your business and in your consumer life. Awesome. Well, uh, thank you, Marco, and thank you, everyone, for joining us for another episode of Sip and Sync. Uh, and for all the resources, check out the show notes and hit like and subscribe. Uh, see you again at the next episode of Sip and Sync with Azure. Thank you.